Now, Nikki's brother, Tommy, has ties to an industry icon, a man who went from simple helmet painting to graphics design and more, spread across multiple motorsports industries to make his business legendary. It's the story of a man who turned a passion into a business he's passionate about. The man I'm talking about, Troy Lee of Troy Lee Design. I mean, just kind of, you know, I just kind of kept falling into it, really, man. I've been, my dad was an artist and racer and grandfather. I mean, that's, I guess that's when it really all started because those guys were racers and my grandfather was a pinstriper and had a used car lot, so they're always fixing stuff up and pinstriping cars. And he's going to Bonneville and racing and building cars for Bonneville, which I wasn't even born yet. And then my dad raced boats and cars and motorcycles and speedway and road raced and, you know, Huskies and CZs, and I never really knew any better, you know. I was just painting my own helmets and, you know, helping my dad, you know, at the time, sand helmets and brother, my brother too, Kelly, and, you know, I never, I've never really looked back, you know, just always kind of looking forward and it's just um, pretty much doing the same thing I did when I was a little kid and with my dad, just at, um, you know, at another level. We're doing, you know, a lot more helmets, a lot more product and a lot more safety equipment and, Digging what I'm doing, taking off in a couple hours to go race Mammoth Motocross, doesn't get any better. Well, the first one was when I had to tell, I was welding pipes for Mitch Payton and racing motorcycles for Mitch Payton and kind of painting my own helmets and then Andy Jefferson's and Jeff Jennings and I, I'd come home from paint, building pipes um, at Pro Circuit and my doorstep, there started to be more and more helmets at the doorstep every every time I'd come home. And I finally had to go tell Mitch, man, I gotta teach somebody how to do this, man, because I'm, I'm, I'd rather paint helmets than weld pipes, especially in Corona here in Orco, man. It gets hot in the summers, you know? So that was kind of a milestone where I kind of said, there's enough helmets showing up that I think maybe I can turn this into a business, you know? And, um, you know, I guess there's been, you know, Different times after that when I really thought maybe I could make a t-shirt and a sticker and, and you know, like, wow, my first sticker, my first t-shirt, you know, um, my first visor, which I was vacuuming from my mom's oven and so I got kicked out of the house because the house smelled like plastic every day, you know, um, had to rent an airplane hangar down the Corona Airport here, um, definitely drawing Scott Russell's helmets, you know, up with the feathers all on them and just drew the little wing on the back and said, wow, it would look cool if these things had a little wing. And then we decided, shoot, let's vacuum for them, make one, you know, and, you know, Scott Russell was definitely, uh, you know, Jeremy McGrath, all those guys, you know, Jeff, Jeff Ward, Paul Tracy, Dario Franchi, all those guys kind of helped keep going to another level, you know, Sean Palmer, all those kind of different heroes in different sports kept, you know, elevating my career, you know, kept giving me a canvas to paint on. They're all just friends to me, you know, they're all just great people and, you know, I mean, I really think that, you know, I think it, racing builds a lot of character and builds really cool character and kind of the same kind of mindset that, mindset set that I have, you know, um, it's, I love people that can, um, dig people that can get it out, lay it out on the line, man, and work under pressure and, and achieve something great, you know? And um, that's what that's what racing's all about, man. There's a lot of elements that come into your life, especially with a lot of the athletes that I deal with, you know, that they have to they have to deal with, but they still have to get out there and just put their head down and get it done. And that's um, it's kind of the attitude I take here at my business. Oh yeah, yeah, I think, Tailgate, I call them tailgate meetings. I think those are some of the most important meetings. Sit in the back of your tailgate with your buddies and seeing how you can make something a little better. But definitely being hands on with the sport, you know, and seeing somebody, that's why the protection is really, you know, a big part of my, you know, you can see somebody hurt and going, God, I think we can make a difference, you know, and I think we can, you know. And like I said, all my kids are, you know, riding, racing, and all my friends are still doing it. And, uh, you know, I'm still doing it. And I just feel like there's, we can, we can make better, a better product always, you know, and that's, if you think, if you keep that mindset, I think um, you can keep your company growing. To sum it up, you know, I mean, graphics is what we're the best at. We're 
really good at, I think, at graphics and colors and customizing stuff. Um, but protection is really probably one of my biggest focus right now. Just because my kids are racing and all my friends racing and just some of the, the protection that we're really working on. I think that's the future of our company here is just um, keep developing the protection. You know, helmets are part of that, knee guards are part of that, chest guards, I mean, but even down to the pants and gloves and all that kind of stuff, you know. Just making the product um, more technical, better fabrics and um, safer. We'll have more from Troy Lee Designs on the next show. We get an exclusive tour behind the door into the paint shop, and this one a little where some here. of the most famous people in motorsports racing have their helmets designed and painted. Uh, we'll stop over here at Jay. Jay is our master pinstriper and gold leafer. Uh, he's got mad talent. Actually, right now he's doing a little hand lettering or numbers, it looks like. Actually.